You can hide no longer. You now have the world looking directly at you. Hot roll, red roll. Engaged. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This is Mr. Fresh. Let's go ahead and get started with the video today. So as you can see on the screen in my Firefox web browser, I have CyberChef open and uh, you can see the URL up here where I have located this from and this is uh, located at the URL of gchq.github.io forward slash uh, CyberChef. And I make sure to note that because I did notice that there also is another site uh, basically called cyberchef.org. I don't know if that is officially related to this one or unofficially, but I like this one um, better because it is far more updated than the cyberchef.org. So uh, we're looking at CyberChef today and specifically what I want to show you guys how to do is to be able to actually just install this and use it on your system without having to go out to um, the internet. So you can use CyberChef offline, which is always better to be able to do things offline and not even have to have access to the internet. So this page right here, I am accessing this from the internet. And if you're not familiar with CyberChef, um, you know, this is an incredibly powerful web based application that you can use to, amongst other things, uh, you know, encode things, decode things, um, decrypt things, look, look at different data formats. So a basic, very basic example would be over here on the left, I can take this um, to base 64 and I can move it over here to the recipe section, recipe column. And that's going to allow me to encode things uh, to base 64. So if I come up here to the input box, I can type in fresh uh, forensics. And you see in the output section down here, it has encoded it to base 64 or using base 64. Now, if I copy this output down here and come back up to the input, I'll delete that. I'll actually come over here and delete the recipe or clear the recipe and then come back over to the left hand side and now I'll do from base 64 and drag and drop it and now I can uh, decode something that was in base 64 so I can reverse that operation and paste that base 64 encoded string in the top input box and in the output box below you see that I get uh, fresh forensics so it's a very basic example of using CyberChef so what we want to do is we want to install this on our system to use locally without needing access to the internet. Um, in order for me to do that, I'm going to get rid of some of these extra tabs here. Um, so real quick, let me show you the actual GitHub page for this. And under the about uh, section over here, it says that um, CyberChef is the Cyber Swiss Army Knife, a web app for encryption, encoding, compression, and data analysis. And you can actually see there is a link on the page to the um, URL that I was just showing you guys. So if we scroll further down the page, we get some more information on what CyberChef is and what it is used for. And um, it says that some of the operations include simple encoding like XOR and Base64 and more complex encryption like AES, DES, and Blowfish, creating binary and hex dumps, compression and decompression of data, calculating hashes and checksums, etc. and so forth. So you can see this incredibly powerful. Now, you can see down here that they give you um, an option to actually install this in a, a Docker container. So that's one of the methods that I want to actually show you guys. So um, I'm going to show you three different ways to install this. And I thought it was pretty cool to um, go through the various uh, ways. So let's go ahead and just start with the one that is already here on the page, which is 
using Docker. Obviously, you will already have to have Docker installed on your system. I'm not covering that in this video, but I am literally just going to copy from the website here in this section right here where it says to use the image uh, directly. So I'm not building it. I'm just going to um, use Docker to go out and get the image and then run the image just by simply copying this command and pasting it into my terminal. So let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and do that. Open up my terminal emulator and I can just paste that command in my terminal. I've already done this so it's going to be uh, much quicker than it would be if you were doing this your first time because your first time running this it will have to go out and get the image but I already have the image so if I hit enter you see that um, it basically is starting uh, starting the container up and now it's available locally on my system um, you're not seeing any anything for you to you know like a hyperlink or or something for you to click on in in any of this so you just have to know by looking at the uh, command that you ran that this is obviously going to be mapped to um, port 8080 so if I go back to my uh, web browser here open up a new tab and type in localhost and I'm going to do port 8080 hit enter we are now running and accessing CyberChef locally on our system with no need for the internet and we're doing that inside of a Docker container. So that is the first way of doing this. Um, if I go back over to my terminal emulator you can actually see some of the logs that are showing up in the output on the screen um, letting you know that I am in fact using my Firefox web browser to display all of this so let's go ahead and exit out of that and I will control C out of this uh, docker container now the um, uh, next method is with uh, snap so obviously I'm, I'm on an Ubuntu system and uh, we have snap packages available to us on Ubuntu uh, you do have it available on some other distributions but mainly this you know, it tends to be an Ubuntu thing. And if I were to run the command uh, snap uh, search uh, CyberChef, though you don't see anything mentioned about this on the GitHub page, there is a snap package that is available for this. So if I do snap search CyberChef, uh, we do get back that there is, in fact, a snap package for this. I have already installed it, so um, if you want to install it, you're simply going to run sudo snap install uh, cyberchef. And I can also do snap info cyberchef, and it will pull up some information on this. And it tells you right here to do the installation. Once again, you simply run sudo snap install cyberchef. And it gives us a description. CyberChef is a simple, intuitive web app for carrying out all manner of cyber operations within a web browser. And pretty similar to the description that we saw on the GitHub page. And as you can see, I did install this. So now that this is um, installed, being that we're on Ubuntu and I'm on a desktop, um, I can now access it by going over to my... Uh, applications menu and if I click on the applications menu come up here to the search bar and I'm just gonna type in uh, cyber chef and you see that it is pulled up right here and here's our little um, GUI icon for cyber chef and if I click on that uh, I am getting a um, problem I guess it's trying to map it to 9090, port 9090. So let me just try doing this. I'm gonna go back to the command line and let me see if, um, if I just do which 
Cyber Chef. Okay, so let's just see what happens if I just run Cyber Chef in the command line. And there we go. So for whatever reason, it did not actually work by clicking on the icon, but I can just run it from the command line and there were no issues with that. So now this is the second example. So we are running um, Cyber Chef locally on our system using uh, Snap, um, having this installed on our system as a Snap package. So let me go ahead and exit out of that. And now for the uh, third and final method, of installing CyberChef and running it locally. Over here on the uh, original page um, in my web browser for CyberChef, you know, actually going out to the internet, you will see up here in the upper left, there's actually a little um, link here to download CyberChef. So if I click on that, it pulls up this uh, box and it explains that you can run CyberChef entirely within your browser with no server side component. And um, as of the recording of this video, the version of CyberChef that I'm downloading is version 10.8.2. And you just click on this link right here to download a zip file. And we have a SHA-256 hash. And as always, whenever I have a hash for any of my downloads, I'm always gonna verify the authenticity and integrity of my download. So I'm going to copy this SHA-256 hash. Now I've already downloaded this, so I'm not going to download it again. I'll click on OK. And from this point, we no longer need this um, tab open, so I will close it. And we no longer need internet, neither. So now, I am going to uh, cd into my downloads directory. And as I said, I have already downloaded this. So if I do ls-lh, uh, here is the zip file and it is 41 megabytes in size. Now what I'm gonna do just to make this a little easier for me and less cluttered, I'm going to create a new directory. I'm just gonna call it CyberChef and I'm going to copy that zip file into that newly created directory. And now we CD into that directory and here is a copy of our zip file. Now I'm simply going to just run the unzip command. You could also do this in your file manager, uh, but I'm just gonna do it from the command line with no special parameters or options or anything. Just real simple and easy. I'm just gonna unzip the package here and now we're going to have a bunch of uh, folders and files and so forth here inside of this directory I can run tree we see we have seven directories total of 69 files right now this is this is pretty simple so um, if I ls you can see that we have an HTML uh, file right here so all I have to do now is, uh, from the command line, I'm just going to run the Firefox command and follow that with that HTML file. Hit enter, and it's going to open my Firefox web browser, and it's opening that HTML file in my Firefox web browser. I am not connected to the internet. I actually made sure to disconnect from the internet so that there would be no confusion. So once again, I am actually running this locally on my system um, straight from that HTML file after unzipping it. And I can once again go over here to base64, drag and drop it to the recipe uh, section here. And in my input box, I will type fresh forensics. And you can see that we have in the output down here below, we have the uh, base64 encoded um, string. So that is going to be it for this video, guys. So that's three different ways to install CyberChef and run it locally on your system. The first one was using uh, Docker. The second one was by installing the Snap package. And the third and final method was by downloading the zip file 
and unzipping it and using our Firefox web browser to open the .html file. Hope that you guys got something out of this video. Thank you for watching. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 500 subscribers. I'm going to be handing out um, Malvad VPN 30-day, uh, uh, um, whatever you want to call it, 30-day uh, sessions or you know, whatever you want to call it, of Malvad VPN, which is my favorite VPN, my, my VPN of choice. And um, as soon as I get to 500 subscribers, uh, I will be handing those out. And you're probably going to want to have this installed or know how to use CyberChef because in order for you to get the VPN, you're, you're going to need something like CyberChef. So that's, that's a hint. Um, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Mr. Fresh. Roger that.